What is up everybody, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how much does it cost to start a pressure washing business. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a slideshow presentation, kind of give you a visual representation of all the equipment that you're gonna need as well as how much it's gonna cost. I'm gonna give you guys a couple different options and then towards the end, we're gonna tally that up and see how much it costs to start a pressure washing business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the slideshow presentation. All right, so how much does it cost to start your pressure washing business? In this video, we're gonna be going over the most basic equipment that you need in order to start your business. There's a ton of other equipment that we could have gotten into in this video, but I want to keep it brief and I want to keep it to the point for anybody who's looking to start a business and they want to know a realistic number for how much it's going to cost. Before we get into that though, I do want to let you guys know that the inner circle is going to be closing very soon. If you guys don't know what the inner circle is, check out the first link in the comment section and the description, but it's basically a closed group where we do bi-weekly coaching calls with myself Aaron Parker from Aaron's Lehman Academy and Mike Vidan from All About Pressure Washing. Uh, I do live Facebook ad critiques on the call so you guys can bring in your ads if they're not working and I'll tell you guys exactly what you need to do to make them perform better. Uh, Aaron does Google My Business training to help you rank higher faster. You also get to learn from other six-figure pressure washers like Tyler Starkey here on the screen uh, and then you get free courses as well. So if any of those things sound Good to you. Check out the first link in the comment section in description, but make sure you do it soon because it will be closing. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is license and insurance. Some people might not want to get licensed and insured. However, it does make a difference. Customers will ask you if you do have a license and insurance, um, and it always helps when you can say, yeah, that you do. It makes them feel more comfortable. So I want to include that in this video. Now, in different places, it's going to cost different amounts to get your business license, but I just went ahead and put in $100 here because it really shouldn't cost more than 100 to 200 bucks to get a business business license. The other thing is insurance. Now insurance is uh, dependent upon a bunch of different variables, you know, whether you're going to do commercial washing, uh, residential washing, if you have employees, uh, how many jobs you're going to do, what equipment you're running. So if you want to get a free quote on how much pressure washing insurance is going to cost, check out the second link in the comment section description, free quote, you fill out your information and they'll tell you exactly what your rates are going to be. So the first piece of equipment that we're going to talk about is pressure washers because obviously that's the most important thing. As you guys can see here, I'm giving you two different options. The one on the left is from Lowe's. It is a Craftsman, Craftsman washer, 3,000 PSI, 2.3 gallons per minute. I wouldn't recommend going anything lower with regards to gallons per minute. So that's why I included this picture. That one starts at 350. And then to the right, we have a DeWalt 4,400 PSI, four gallons per minute. And I know uh, one of the guys in the group actually ran the specific washer and he did six figures with it. So he did well over $100,000 with this unit and he never had to replace it or anything. He just did regular maintenance to it. So I know that that's a good washer. So the next thing we're gonna talk about with regards to the washers is I would recommend that you got you guys buy them from Home Depot and Lowe's because when you buy them from Home Depot and Lowe's, you can get a warranty with them. Uh, and if anything happens to them, you can bring them back into the store and they will exchange them. However, if you buy one from a company and they ship them to you, uh, a lot of times you'll get a manufacturer's warranty and sometimes you have to ship it off if something were to happen to it. So uh, I recommend just go the easy route, Lowe's and Home Depot. And then as you guys can see on the DeWalt, they do have a 90 day return policy, which is even better. So if you get it, you decide pressure washing isn't for you, you can always bring it back and uh, get your money back. Uh, I would also recommend going with a higher GPM unit so you can run bigger surface cleaners, but we're going to talk about that in the second slide. Now, whenever you do purchase either one of these washers, it's going to come with a gun and a pressure hose as well as tips. So th those are things that you don't have to worry about. They're already included in the cost. The next thing that we're going to be talking about is surface cleaners. As you guys can see here on the left, we have a Home Depot DeWalt surface cleaner. This one's 119. You can actually get cheaper ones than this. I think I've seen them as low as like $50 for a attachment, a gun attachment. Um, however, I will say that I have never had good luck with um, these Lowe's or Home Depot service cleaners. They always break on me. They'll always break on the job and I'll never have enough time to like leave the job and, and go get another one. At least whenever I first started my business, I would break them on the job and then I have to finish with the wand. I would recommend you guys go for the BE service cleaner. Now that one's closer to $500, but it's going to last you a lot longer. I've had my BE service cleaner for for years now and it still does a great job it still cleans things um, i haven't really ever had any problems with it however if you're low on cash um, you can always go the dewalt route now the lower the gpm on the machine the smaller the service cleaner should be so a good rule of thumb and like an industry standard is one gallon per minute um, is equal to four inches of service cleaner so essentially if you had a four gallon a minute you really should only be using like a 16 inch service cleaner however i've used 20 inch service cleaners with um, four gallon a minute units. So a good rule of thumb is one GPM, four inches. Um, however, you can stretch that a little bit. So this is the service cleaners. I would recommend you guys invest in a good service cleaner rather than going through a bunch of 
not so good ones. The next thing we're going to be talking about is garden hose and pressure hose. Um, now, I'm not going to talk about pressure hose because this is a beginner startup video, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. And if I talk about pressure hose longer than what comes with the machine, like 200 feet perhaps, then we have to start talking about hose reels and things like that. And I don't want to add in more stuff for you guys to buy. I just wanted this to be the basic, how much does it cost to start a pressure washing business? Garden hose, um, however, you can get between 20 and 50 bucks. I included this Flexzilla because I always hear people talking about how good it is. So if you want a really good garden hose, you can pick up a Flexzilla at Walmart for 50 bucks. Or you could probably find not a name brand for like 20 or 25 bucks, some, somewhere around there. So the last piece of equipment that we're going to talk about is chemical applicators. Uh, you basically need this to apply your SH to, you know, siding or anything that you're cleaning, any organic stains that you're cleaning. Um, so we're going to talk about two different methods of applying chemical here. One is a downstream injector. The downstream the downstream injector is really cheap. It's only $20. I would, I would recommend buying a downstream injector and not using whatever comes with the washer because if you use whatever comes with the washer, it's going to be running chemical through your washer and it, it will most likely, it definitely will corrode um, your pressure washer. So it's always good to use like an external one. So that way, if this one goes out, you can just exchange, like you can just replace it and, and use another one. It's only $20. So downstream injector is good. Uh, X-Jet is also good. It's a little more pricey. Um, really, it's whatever you prefer. That is all the equipment that you need to get started. This is, like I said, the baseline equipment. And if I miss anything, let me down in the comment section. I did include a, a miscellaneous expense here. Uh, but basically, for licensing in and insurance, it really shouldn't be more than $200. Pressure washer, you can get one from $350 to $800. Surface cleaners, $50 to $500, which is a big range. But as I said, I really would recommend you guys invest in a good service cleaner. Hoses, $20 to $50. Chemical applicators, $20 to about $200. Now, if I missed anything, I included in the miscellaneous gas cans, uh, anything else that you can think of, $100. And the total amount for how much it's going to cost for you to start your pressure washing business is going to be between $800 and about $1,900, depending on um, how good of equipment that you guys want to go with. But as I mentioned before, there's a lot of things that I didn't include in this video, including a ball valve. Uh, if you guys want other equipment links, if you guys want to see a whole bunch of equipment that you can get for your pressure washing business, I'll leave a link down in the comment section and the description to an equipment page. It's got ball valves, proportioners, J-Rod. It's got everything you could ever think of down in the comment section and the description so you guys can check that out. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below equipment and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.